Hello and welcome to the newsletter from the Friday the 24th of September 2021. Last week children from year six went on their residential to Thornbridge. They were an absolute credit to Barron Wood. We were so proud of what they did. They were climbing on the high ropes. They were weaseling by climbing through rocks in the Peak District. Uh, they were involved in making their lunches and breakfast and they all worked together really well and were a real credit to the school. Um, some children went out cycling along the Monsal Trail, some children learned how to ride bikes, but all of them worked so well and we were so proud of what they did. The instructors at Thornbridge did say how much they enjoyed having Byron Wood visit and they were glad to have us back again. Well done to all of Year 6 who went on the residential. Just a reminder about school uniform, that the, uh, the PE uniform should be a navy or black jogging suit with a plain white t-shirt without any marks on please. Um, unless you have the old school PE t-shirts, which you can still wear, um, and plain black trim, please. The children do look much smarter when they have the correct PE uniform on, and it means that we can continue to allow children to come to school in their PE uniform on the days where they have PE, rather than having to spend time getting changed during the day. A couple of things that are happening around Burn Green Pittsmore that are run by people other than the school. There is a baby and toddler group, every Wednesday in term time at the Welcome Centre on Nottingham Street from 9.30 to 11.30 and there is Pittsmore Baby and Toddler Group every Tuesday at St Catherine's Scout Hut on Holtwood Road. Uh, you can find out more about that on the on, on Facebook which is a Pittsmore Baby and Toddler Group. There is also a Scarecrow Festival happening around Pittsmore. If you would like to sign up to display a Scarecrow you can scan the QR code at the bottom of this video um, otherwise, you can have fun walking around the streets and seeing the different scarecrows that people have been making. That is it for the newsletter this week. As always, you can contact the school in any of the following ways by phone, email, or straight up, or by speaking to the staff who are on the school on the front of school at the start and end of every day.